You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it feels the same as it did Wednesday night. You know, the Lord was pulling on somebody. I don't know who it is. He didn't tell me, but he gave me this message for somebody. You know, I told him first of all, I said, I thought we moved on. You know, I thought he gave me another message. I thought we moved on from Wednesday night. I thought I was going to be able to preach the other message. You know, he spoke to my soul. You know, he laid that burden back on me. He said, I'm still pulling for you. He said, I ain't gave up on you yet. I don't know who it is. He didn't tell me who it is, but somebody in here is pulling on you. And I know you feel him. I know you feel him pulling on you. I'm trying to tell you, you need to get back right. You need to get saved. You need to listen to me. I'm sitting here pulling your heart. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you to get up from the seat where you're at. I'm asking you to move. Uh, I feel somebody in here needs to listen to what I'm saying this morning. He gave me this word. He gave it back to me again for somebody. He's ready to move in this house this morning. And here's the word of somebody's heart. Obey God. Obey God. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Ghost from heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to start off reading this morning in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 18. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say it again, whatever you get. It says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I had the keys of hell and of death. You can be seated this morning. If I was going to title this message this morning, it says, I, I title it, Hell, is it going to be enjoyable? Come and I was on. sitting there, and I just got through riding my four wheeler, and I got wet, and I was freezing cold. And I went in there, and I got in the shower, I know, and I started to think, you know, you're sitting up there up underneath that warm water, you know, it feels so Come good on. to you, it's so enjoyable. You're sitting there, you know, you're relaxed, you're taking a shower, you're getting clean. It's like A.C.L. said, it says, once you get in the shower, whenever you come out, you're like a whole different person because you wash right. that nastiness off. But, you know, I was just beginning to think, you know, as you sit up underneath that water, and how warm and how good it feels. Hell ain't going to be that way. What's that? Whenever we get down to that fire, it ain't going to be that way. It ain't going to be as enjoyable oh, sure. as you get in there and you adjust in that hot water to however you like it, you know. It ain't going to be that way. You're going to be burning 24-7. It's going to be 24-7 torture. Is that really a place that you want to waste your opportunity this morning whenever you pull it on your heart? Is that really a place that you want to go to whenever you go to a place much better you can go to a place where you can have whatever last joy, you know. Out and walking down the streets and go, but you want to waste your opportunity and you want to go and you want to live in them plains. And it just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. He's pulling on somebody. I feel the burden on my heart. I see his head. He's heavy. I'm telling you, he's pulling on somebody this morning. I don't know who it is. He didn't tell me who it is, but he's pulling on somebody this morning. As I begin to think and I begin to get this message ready, uh, I begin to think, you know, it's either heaven or hell. You get to choose. So that's the good thing about it is you get to choose. You either get to choose where you want to spend your eternity. You can either spend it out here in each plane, you know, 24-7, looking up and you see all the boys rejoicing in heaven. And you're down there, what have I done? Where have I got myself to? Lord, have mercy on me. He ain't going to hear you no more. Once you hear it apart from me, I never knew you. There ain't going to be no more asking you, Lord, will you please forgive me? Lord, will you please have mercy on my life? Once you hear it apart from me, I never knew you. You work your iniquity. You're never going to be able to get in touch back with him again. You'll be sitting there. You'll be wondering, where have I got myself to? What did I do wrong? Where did I get myself? You know, I thought about that message that Uncle Russell preached. You know, it can happen to you. It can happen to me. I can mess up. I can make it to hell. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to spend my eternity there. I get to choose. I get to choose how I want to live. I can live every day without sinning. I don't have to sin. You know, they say most people believe what's saved always saved. No, no, no. You get saved. You get washed in the blood. And whenever you mess up, you ask for forgiveness. You can go every day without sinning. That's the only way you're going to make it to hell. It ain't going to be no one saved, always saved. It's going to be you get saved, you get washed in the blood. That's how you're going to make it. They say you don't got to have the Holy Ghost to make it. Uh, they say you don't got to have the Holy Ghost to go to heaven, but it sure does help, I tell you that. There ain't a better feeling than having that Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, it's something that comes over you and it's so uncontrollable. It's like a, it's burning inside of you. It's supposed to come out. You just want to shout, you just want to speak in tongues. It's something that you never felt so good. Come on, amen. Do you really want to waste your opportunity and go to hell? Do you really want to waste your, your, your brother Paul preached on your dash? Do you really want to waste your dash? Right. You got just a little bit of time here on this earth. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Come on, come on. Oh my God, I'm preach. I want to, uh, I'm probably not going to preach that long this morning, but I just wanted to come here and I just wanted to give y'all what God laid on my heart. I just want to get my point across. Uh, I want to preach, I want to go to Revelation <coughs> chapter 22 and verse 20. Say it here whenever you get to it. It says, He which testifies these things says, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Oh, man. 
That right there should shake you to your core. Yeah. It's through to come, church, and you don't want to be left behind. I'm telling you, you don't. You don't want to have to be sitting there praying, and you can't touch God. Maybe you're sitting out there in the burning flames. You're saying, Lord, what am I doing? Please forgive me. There ain't going to be no more of that. It says, surely I come quickly. Oh, man, that should shake you. That should scare you right now. That should make you run to this altar. If you're not living right this morning, that should make you run to this altar. He said, surely I come quickly. Lord, come to come. And if you don't stop messing around, hell, that's where you're going to be. And it ain't going to be enjoyable. Glory, glory, heaven. I begin to think, you know, is, is, is this world really worth dying to go to hell over, you know? Is these things in this world really worth dying to go into hell over, you know? Having fun, living in this life. This life ain't going to be here forever. One day it's going to burn away. It ain't going to be no more. You really want to yeah. really lay up all your treasures in this earth, you know? You really want to be rich and have all the money in this earth whenever you can have a mansion up there. Yeah. If you'll just do what the Lord has to do. You just let it pull on your heart and you'll obey it. You'll come out here and you keep your life with you. Oh, oh, oh. Is, is things in this life really worth dying to go into hell over? I can tell you from experience, it's not. The things in this life is not worth dying to go into hell over. I wouldn't give up anything for God. Oh, I wouldn't give up anything for my relationship with Jesus. I'm telling oh, you, it ain't worth it at all. It's not. It's not worth it. Nothing in this world is. Money, the money, rich, anything, alcohol, drugs, all of that. None of that's worth dying to go into hell over. You know, I begin to think there's been times in my life where I decided to hold I decided to hold the world in one hand and I decided to try to hold Jesus on the other hand. It ain't gonna work that way. You gotta let go of the world, you gotta let go of the things in this world. You can't live, you can't do the things in this world. I'm gonna come over here Sunday, I'm gonna live for God, I'm gonna get right, I'm gonna do all that I need to. And as soon as I walk out the doors, I'm gonna go right back to doing the things in this world. It ain't gonna work that way. You know, ain't gonna make it that way. You gotta stay all the way right here. You gotta grab a hold of his hand and you gotta stay tight. You gotta go always with him. Only place in the things of this world is going to get you to is hell. But if you'll grab a hold of Jesus' hand, I'm telling you, you can make heaven your home this morning. Go there! What in this world can make you want to lose your relationship with God? What in this world is it worth dying to go into hell over? I looked, up, I looked up the definition of eternity. It says infinite or unending time. Do you really want to spend your eternity in hell? Do you really want to spend your eternity 24-7 torture? You know, it's just like fire. You know, I can only think about how uh, I feel like that's probably got to be the most painful way to go is to burn. You know, just sit there and you're just sitting there and you're burning. You know, I don't want to live that way. I don't want to live in hell 24-7 just sitting there on fire, you know, hoping somebody. Is, I think it was Uncle Russell. It may have been Brother Scott. We've been going to that youth rally. He talked about he just wanted to drop the water on his tongue. That's yeah. all I wanted in there. The whole Bible, he said he just wanted a drop of water on his tongue. He said, But where you are, I can't go. Once you make it to hell, there ain't gonna be no more going back. There ain't gonna be no making it to heaven. You're done. You done lost your opportunity. You messed up. You dash. It's gone. You really want to spend your eternity in hell this morning. Come on. Come on. Like I said, I don't know who it is in here that God is pulling on, but I'm telling you this morning, whenever I was, I got up and I come over here and I started praying and I was studying on my other message. And next thing you know, it hit me. He said, I want you to preach this. He said, I want you to go here. Somebody in here needs to hear what I have for you to say this morning. All I am is the messenger. He gives me the word to say, and I come here and preach it to y'all. I'm asking for y'all to open y'all's heart and let God move on y'all. I don't know who it is, but I'm telling you, he's pulling on you this morning. He don't want to see you die and go to hell. He wants you to make it to the place that he has prepared for us. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you that where I am there, you may be also. He don't want you to die and go to hell. Now, you can, but it's your choice. It's your choice whether or not you want to live in eternal and eternal chaos, you know, just always fire, fire burning at you. Right, it's right. your choice. You can either live on the streets and go. You can live in that mansion that is prepared for you. You Come can on. sing with the angels, and you know what? You can go to hell. Amen. It's your choice. He's pulling on somebody this morning, and somebody needs to obey. I don't know who it is. I feel a burden deep in my soul. Amen. Somebody needs to obey. Come on. Come on. I, I can't let that go about that, about he was, he was testing by these things, saying, Surely I come quickly, amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yeah, I don't know why you ain't already moved. I'm telling you, if I wasn't right this morning, you know where I'd be? I'd be right there on that altar. Because I'm telling you, whenever, whenever I hear that trumpet sound, I want to go. I want to be lifted up, and I want to go to heaven. I don't want to miss my opportunity. I don't want to waste my dance. I want to be if you want to be preaching the word that he asked me to preach. I don't want to waste my opportunity. Whenever he says, surely I come quickly. Come quickly, Lord. I'm ready. I'm ready to go right now. It's your choice this morning whether or not you want to get ready or you want to spend your eternity in torture. Hell ain't going to be enjoyable. It's going to be torture. Now, heaven, heaven's going to be enjoyable. But we all get to heaven. One 
truth, I'm telling you, he's pulling on you this morning. I felt it. I was walking around this church this morning, and I felt it then. I feel it now. I'm telling you, I don't know who it is, but he's pulling on you this morning. 